Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we have a live story that was suggested by Michael Farmer. So right here is his comment. This is going to be something new that I do that I'm going to be able to put your comments up on the screen and whoever can suggest a, uh, a good topic, I'll take it for a video. And so that's what the topic is going to be this video right here. Something that happened in church. But before we get into that, I want to let you guys know that I am going to start streaming on twitch.tv. A link will be down in the description. So go ahead, uh, click on that, follow me, and wait for that stream because I'm sure good things will come on that page. So let's get right into it. This life story happened at church, and it wasn't just like a normal day at church, right? It was a lockdown, something that I've never done before, but it was very fun. So it was me, um, about three or four of my friends, uh, like close friends, and then about five to six people I knew that were also friends. So what we did at this lockdown was basically you show up at like five o'clock and you are locked in. You're locked into the church and you can't leave. However, whenever we did show up, we did have like a big scavenger hunt around the town. And that was pretty fun. I did like that. But I'm going to tell you guys what happened in this church lockdown, right? So we got there and and we were just like, you know, it's kind of weird. We didn't know what to do. It was a lockdown. No one's done this before. And then we we're like, okay, let's play a game. And what game happened, but a huge hide-and-go-seek with teams and it, all within the church. And this isn't a small church either. This is a very big, I mean, it's not the biggest church I've seen, but it's definitely bigger than a medium-sized church and probably bigger than any church in the area. So we are in this lockdown, right? We we're playing this big game of hide-and-seek. And people are like, yeah, this is fun, but what if we turned off all the lights and then played it with flashlights? So that got even more good, right? So, and this is like, I'm going around, I haven't been in most of these rooms, so it's like kind of fun. No one else has either. There was elevator, and uh, what happened? And it's, it's pretty embarrassing, but I was like the best one, right? No one could ever find me until they did. And how they found me was very embarrassing. I'm going to tell you what happened. So I hide, right? I'm getting kind of nervous because it's dark and uh, people are looking for me. Very quiet, kind of creepy. And I'm getting nervous, right? So what happens whenever I get nervous? I fart a little bit, so I was farting, and no, it wasn't the sound that they found me by. It was the smell, right? And I remember I was laying down, I was like behind this table and inside of a cabinet type thing, and it was kind of open on both ends, except you could not see me straight on. You'd have to go to one end or the other to be able to see me. So I was in there, and I was just letting them slip the entire time. And this, I was young, I was probably in fourth grade, third or fourth grade. Uh, no, actually I was in fifth grade. That's what grade I was in, I was in fifth grade. And I was just letting them slip, right? Just, it was, I was trying to hold them in. I was letting them slip and it got so bad inside of this closed in space. So I had to like move out to the side where there was fresh air and I was still just letting them slip. And I heard them come by and I started laughing and I'm laughing right now because it was funny, right? I'm, I'm locked in this cabinet type deal and I'm just smelling the worst smell ever. So I'm like trying to get some fresh air and I hear all of them walk by and I just hear like, oh, Oh, what is that smell? And I'm like, oh, please don't find me. Please, I do not want to be associated with that smell. And they're like, oh, it's so bad. Just all of them are just ragged. They're like, oh, come on, we got to get out of here. And I'm like, wait, has this worked out in an advantage? And then someone was like, no, that just means someone's up here. And they were like looking around, right? They were inside of the room I was in. I could hear them. I was getting even more nervous. And then I let the last one rip. And oh, did it rip. And I came crawling out. I'm like, you guys found me. And I went away. And they just, they all teased me. They were saying I was up there farting. And that's how they could find me. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This is a church story. Thank you, Michael Farmer, for the suggestion. If anyone else has a suggestion um, and I like it, I got a story for it, I will definitely thank you for it because I can remember almost everything, but it's a hard, I have a hard time recalling it. So hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is Aaron. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace. Go after Judas, Jesus Christ, if I live like